Hi, what have you done for love today? I am going to show you the truth of the divine feminine. That's what I'm going to do for love today. Uh, I show you the actual article, but you can't. I mean, you can't click on it. But then when those paywalls come up, so <laughs> right here, and this is old as you can see, but this is this is uh, common knowledge. This is uh, pretty much agreed upon mythology and researchers or anyway according to the story of jesus on the history channel on friday october 12th lilith adam's first wife was labeled a demon and a prostitute so if you're not aware lilith not eve was adam's first wife and as you can see she's labeled a demon a prostitute a whore all that stuff the divine feminine lilith there is an imposter that saturn that's pretending to be the divine feminine that's pretending to be the true mother that's a whore a prostitute a demon all that shit but not the real mother. This is all a stupid story, man. And let me show you. Let me show you. Like, in the story itself, she is none of this. Read this with me. The old wisdom that men and women are molded from the same clay must have inspired the story about Adam's first wife created by God from the same dust as Adam. Her name was not Eve, but Lilith. Their having been created on an equal footing had terrible consequences because Lilith wanted to have sex on top and she insisted on her right to do so. According to some variants, Adam refused this, divorced her, and sent her away. But in other versions, she was the one who abandoned him. She pronounced the name of God. Okay, so there's all these different variations of it basically coming down to sex being done with one of them on top and they can't agree on it. So, did you read the story? Let's read it again. Her name was not Eve, but Lilith. Their having been created on equal footing had terrible consequences because Lilith wanted to have sex on top and she insisted on her right to do so. And then according to some variants, Adam refused this, divorced her. So, here's, so she was a whore and it came up like, hey, because this is always in, in the story, Adam. It was Adam's idea that said, we're going to do this. And she goes, no. And then Adam goes, we're going to do it this way. We're having sex this way. And she goes, no. And then off she goes, sent her away. She abandoned him, whatever. So if she was a whore, she would have been having sex any way Adam told her to, right? But not only did she say, I'm not having sex that way. She said, the hell with this. I'm not having sex with you anymore, period. Packed her shit and left. See what I mean about all this? And see, I just, I can't help it. I'm real passionate about this stuff because there's all these different versions of of these of of her uh, people claiming to be mom, people claiming to be God, and I just found another one. I've been watching her on Twitter for several months now, and as I've shown you in that beautiful video, that awesome divine feminine goddess explaining uh, the Jezebel spirit, how the Jezebel spirit, the imposter whore, will always show itself. And in this case, see this woman, she calls herself Venus, but says, and says she's the creator, she's mom, everything. And then finally, just a couple weeks ago, she called herself a demon, which it, she is, because all you have, their actions speak louder than words. She is the imposter. And there's all these different women, and it's funny, is they can't decide if they want to be whores or not. And in some posts, she's telling people how she's monogamous because she doesn't have the energy to be polygamist. And then another, uh, excuse me, post, she's like, I'm going to be a polygamist. And it, it just, you never, they're a, they're a bunch of liars. They never follow through with what they say. And what's hilarious is that there are two of them now that are saying the exact same thing. I'm doing this so no one has to go through hell ever again. I'm not kidding you. That is, I've heard that story before from someone else claiming to be God. There are so many, it's, it's tripped out. But as the Dead Sea Scrolls tell you, that the family, heavenly family is here. But boy, oh boy, you need to watch out for the imposters. So that's why I try to educate you all on this so you can tell who's who so you don't fall for the imposter trick. So how is someone a whore if she's like, no, I'm not going to have sex that way, not going to have sex, period, with you anymore, and leaves? You see what I mean about the retardation that's happened? It doesn't make any sense. It's not difficult, people. It's just a big, big, big mind trick. It's a big mind trick. And why do they do that? So then the divine feminine has this like subconscious guilt that they're always trying to make up for. And then if you control the womb, you control the world, right? So we'll call the first woman a whore because she didn't want to have sex a certain way. 
But that's the kind of bullshit you fall for if you're under the spell of Saturn and the imposter.